Look at this colorful cube. It's three dimensional as it occupies space. Now we will observe this cube from three different directions. We will look at the top view, the front view and the right view. Let's get started. How would this cube look if you were viewing it from the top? All we would see is the top face which is a square. The top view of this cube is a square. Ok, let's come back to the original position. How would the cube look if we view it from the front? We would see just the front face which is also a square. The front view is also a square. And how would it look if we view it from this side? A square again. Whether we look at it from the top view or the front view or the right view of the cube, we will always see a square. So this involves a bit of imagination and we should try this out with different figures. Here's another figure. An empty glass. Take a moment and think about how the top view would look. Yes, all we would see is a circle. This is the top view. And if the top wasn't covered, we would see the circle of the base as well. And what about the front view? Pause the video and give it a thought. This is what we would see. A trapezium. Two sides parallel and two non-parallel. And the view from the right? Again, it would be a trapezium. No matter which side you look at it from, we will always see a trapezium. So imagining the views was pretty easy here. How about we make it a bit more exciting? I will be placing a few coloured cubes on this plane surface to form a figure. Ok, so here it goes. I place two red cubes here, one yellow cube on top and one blue cube here. This is the solid we will be referring to for this example. We have two red cubes, one yellow cube and a blue one. Now we need to draw the top view, the view from the front and the view from the right. How would the top view look? Pause the video and try to draw it in your notebook. Let's try drawing it without moving the figure. If we look at it from the top, we will have the yellow square at the bottom. We draw a yellow square here and this red cube will not be seen from the top as the yellow one is covering it. Next to the yellow square, we have the top face of the red cube. So we draw the red square face here. And to the right of the top face of the red cube, we have the top face of the blue cube. So we draw a blue square here. This will be the top view. If we take the camera on top, we can see that our figure is correct. Now let's get back to the original view. Looking at this, I want you to try drawing the view from the front and the view from the right. Ok, let's draw the front view first. The front view is the view from here. At the bottom, we have the front face of this red cube. So we draw a red square here. Imagine you are standing here. Now from the front view, what will we see on the top of the red cube? It will be the front face of the yellow cube. So we draw a yellow square on top of the red one. And at the bottom, next to the front face of the red cube, we will see the front face of the blue cube. We draw a blue square here and that completes our front view. Let's rotate the figure to verify our answer. Yes, we are right. And what about the view from the right? In the same way, when we view the figure from the right, we will get a red, yellow and blue face like this. How will the view from the right look? This is the view from the right. Notice that the front view and the right view look the same. Drawing views from different angles simply requires a little bit of imagination and with enough practice, you will surely excel at it.